Hello everyone, welcome back to another Zero to Hero. I think this is our eighth episode. Here is where we're currently standing. Uh, we do have a pretty decent gear set. If you remember, I got both of these uh, purple crystal ball and Rondo dagger for like 50 gold each. Um, we did get a really good necklace of peace for the build that we are running here, as well as some nice rings. We have padded leadings, and I'm going to go ahead and buy these 13 gold uh, oracle robes from the tailor as well. And let's hop into our first game. Finally, I think we have time to do a damage test. Ah, oh, I won't be able to get ignite off, but we're doing around 40 per hit. I think with ignite, it'll add like an extra 15 to 20 damage on hit, uh, and then some of course uh fire damage right after it all right we spawned pretty close to a little mini library there's around four spawns around us so we gotta be a bit careful here first things first gotta check if someone's here i don't actually have a a uh protection pot unfortunately we're gonna start clearing towards that guy Really don't want to accidentally get hit here. These guys make it so hard to just kill them plainly. Oh, uh, there's another bolo guy here. Let me deal with this guy real quick. All right. Okay, I guess there goes our set. Two swings. I forgot to arcane shield, but we took so much damage on the first one, I don't even know if it would have made a difference. This guy's just running a default gray mall. We just got two hit by it. All right, not to worry. We have a green rondel dagger, and I'm just going to go ahead and pick up another um, crystal ball. All right. Um, we got this crystal ball with three movement speed and this wizard hat with one will for 44 gold. So we're just gonna go in with that. The fight seemed kind of laggy too. Like even that first hit, I didn't think it hit me and there was a bit of delay on it. And that second hit as well, like there was delay on when I died as well from it. So I don't know. Um, I know I definitely forgot to use my arcane shield, which is pretty bad, but I honestly didn't think he would really live that long. All right, we got this one. Oh. I did uh, swap out quick chant for a reactive shield as well. Man, it's so much slower to attack uh, than the last that we were running. We do get a quarter staff. Not that helpful, honestly, but we'll keep it. I think maybe last game I probably could have invested in a uh, protection pot as well. Or I also could have gotten that shrine of quickness. There was a lot of things we could have done better, but I just assumed we could have just run him down. But, um, seems like it is in style of our entire Zero to Hero series that I think every single one of our wipes that we've had so far have been against a barbarian in like completely default gear. Someone did spawn here, they're moving towards the left. It's another wizard. This guy is trying to hide. Let's just sidestep this. All right, just gotta deal with these goblins now. Oh man, we move so slowly. Hard to strafe around this. I'm pretty sure that guy was default. I I sort of wish he had something for us about like 90. Yeah, he's just running default. But that is okay. One less player in the lobby is 
one less person that can potentially take something for us. This chest is really good if it doesn't have a lock on it. Ah, uh, unfortunate, unfortunate. So I do want to just sit and heal. I'll probably just do it right here, honestly. Or actually, let's get into the circle first. I think that guy from up top. No, he's good. Uh, sometimes he can just aggro you and run all the way down. I don't hear anyone, so we should be good to sit. Just get all our spells back and all our uh, HP back. All right, it took a while, but we are back to full. Um, the circle's probably going to start moving in again pretty soon. Oh, that archer? Is that an archer still alive? That's unfortunate. If we can get two hits in and then just back up and strafe. Oh, that was a bit greedy there. I knew he was one shot away. Luckily, we got the hit off before he could get his hit off. All right. The benefit of going upstairs is it's super easy to just get around once you're upstairs. Uh, there are all the spiders here still, which are annoying. See if we can just quickly. Uh, okay. Well, it's in the storm. Otherwise, I would have looted all that. We do hear someone sounds like below us. I don't even know if this guy got hit by the trap or not. Someone's on the other side here. I think. Oh, that's a blue rapier of bad rolls. Okay. I don't think we have time to haste. Where is he? Just watch out for hunting traps. Um, We can take those. Boots and those gloves. Oh, wait, he has raw hot gloves. Even better. Um, Honestly, none of this will really sell for anything. We can go ahead and bring that health pot just to top us off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people have died, which means at most there's one person left, including ourselves. Or not including ourselves. I can just take this stuff and then um, if we don't get enough to like vendor, I can just vendor this. But assuming somebody took an exit, we are probably the last ones alive here. So we can just go ahead and loop back up. Oh my goodness. Pad of the leggings. That's the thing I love about the goblin caves. Usually it's a bit hard. Oh my goodness. Well, there goes that. <laughs> oh man, that was unexpected. How much HP does this guy have left? He was only half. He came pretty geared too. This would have been a really good kill. Um, I guess he was just riding, but that was the last guy alive. I should have known from the, uh, I should have known from the kill feed that he was the last guy li alive. Um, it was a rogue, so uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and buy yet another crystal ball and dagger. All right, so we did get a steel, a blue rondel dagger, a blue crystal ball with plus one all attributes and reinforced gloves. The re gloves are sort of bad, but for 110 gold, um, this is quite nice. The crystal ball with plus one all attributes. Uh, and the Rondel Dagger with knowledge and max health on it. Um, pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. So we're just going to hop into another one. All right. We can probably clear this whole room um, with like one ignite. Or, and when I say the whole room, I just mean the center, probably. Oh my goodness. He's just like, oh, we shouldn't have taken a hit there. I wasn't sure if he was like stuck again or if he was actually going to attack. The AI is so buggy on these goblins. It makes them hard to predict if they're like going to sit there or if they're going to attack, especially when you have 
A dagger. And we get padded leggings, let's go. As I was saying the last game before we got jumped on by a rogue, um, one of the nice things, even when you just start with the dagger and the uh, crystal ball, is that a lot of the times you will get small upgrades throughout the run. And then after two, three, four runs, you actually have like a real set that you could probably take into like high rollers if you wanted to um, and compete. So it's cool. By the way, if you guys are interested, I also play Rogue, if you guys are interested in any Rogue series. Um, so, let me know. We have cleared this entire room, other than these padded leggings. Um, I haven't really gotten anything great, to be honest. I guess we can start moving into the center of the map after a quick heal. Alright, kind of sat in a bad place. The circle is closing in on me. So I will lose a tiny bit of recoverable HP here. We are going to go straight into the center of the map. See what is going on. Has somebody cleared this already? It looks like they just ran and took all the mobs. Oh, wow. This guy. Dead. Servo. Killed by a person with a flange mace. So this person we hear could be a fighter or a... He's just on the other side there. I think. That's weird. I've never seen them just like straight up shoot the wall like that when they can't find the person. I'm all the way back here and this guy like... Oh, there he is. What is he? Who is he? Is this the guy that killed that ranger? Seems to be in the... Uh... I heard like a battle axe, I think. Is there another barbarian here to just end our run again? Man, I wish I had, like, I wish I had a proper, um, all right, let's just go in on him. Oh my god. Let's see if we can get some damage on him before we go in on him. I think that was pretty good. The mage is not going to be attacking. We can... Take some time here to chase him. He's probably super low, to be honest. Where'd he go? Not this way, I think. Oh, he did go this way. I heard him step on the trap, and I heard him get hit by the thing. This guy has to be so low. Let's, instead of trying to stabby stabby this guy, let's try to... Magic Missile! Oh my goodness, he still kills us before we can do anything. That's crazy, he was getting hit by everything. Yeah. Oh my god, he was actually looted. I should have respected him more. This would have been a great kill for us. 160 HP. 160 HP and it just takes one hit to tap us. But anyways, I, that is going to be... But anyways, that is going to be this episode. I wanted to mix in some games where we don't just get out over and over again. Um, I figured there might be some demand to just see what it looks like on not an average run, but the runs where unfortunate things happen. Um, if you enjoy that and you want to see more of these games, let me know. Usually I'd, I'll just cut them out of the video and show you guys the games where we get sick kills and uh, money and escapes and stuff like that. But if you want to see more of a mix between uh, games where we die and games where we don't, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys guys in the next video.